hi welcome to my channel if today is the first time of you joining my channel my name is dr unzube eboluche on this channel we discuss everything you need to know about studying abroad relocating via study pathway application process success tips anything scholarships which is the major thing that we discuss on this channel we discuss about scholarship different scholarship you can apply to with share links and universities that you can tap into i normally tell my students that if you are watching this video today when you are doing your study abroad application process remember not every university in the uk us canada is for you you need to know that there is there are ideal universities that you need to apply to and what do I mean by ideal university? Those universities that you as an individual, as an international student, can benefit financially from and educational wise also. Okay? So you don't have to apply to every university. On this platform, we share different universities that has financial benefit just for you as an international student. I have known from my years of experience, even me going through this process of studying abroad and coming to the US, and also helping most of my, um, my mentees go through this application process and relocating to the US, UK, Canada, and even Europe. What I've come to see is most students, the challenge is financial support, financial sponsorship. And I wanna tell you, that if you have an information on how to figure out your financial problem or financial challenge, won't you take it? I know the answer is yes, right? So the, the solution to financial problem is what? Scholarship. Getting financial funding from the university or program you are applying to. And that is what I said. You cannot apply to any university you think that is out there. And I will share with you today different universities you can apply to today and you will get financial sponsorship for your master's or your PhD program which you are applying to. Stay with me and we'll get to work talking about Rice University. I don't know how many of you that know about Rice University. So Rice University is one of the top ranked university in the US. I'm going to show you what I mean by having an applying to an ideal school, especially if you're an international student applicant. This is very, very vital. Now we know academic session application is already opening up. You need to start choosing your universities and I advise you choose wisely. So once you open up a school, the first thing is to go and check out the program if they actually offer your program. If you are if you are if you are applying for an undergrad program, you have to click on here to see that. But today we will be demonstrating with a graduate program. So we go to graduate check on the program first as i mentioned so you can see um make sure you read thoroughly on their website so you can actually see that um rice university graduate program is a graduate study is actually categorized into two they have the research-based program and they also have a professional master's so this professional master's is actually mainly cost based you know some schools call it cost based program so you can either choose a research based or cost based program depending on what you want to do but i want to tell you if you are applying for a doctorate program it must be a research based program so with that information you can go through go through their schools and the courses that they offer and make sure that they offer your school we can see school of business continuing studies where we have um, liberal studies and teaching. We have the engineering. These are so many courses under engineering. 
the School of Engineering, Data Science, Math, Computer. So you just have to go through and choose the courses that you really need. This could really offer lots and loads of courses. So just think about the courses that you love. So that's actually my school's natural science. So you can actually see and choose the courses that you really want to do, either as a master's program or as a PhD program. Then after choosing your school, the next thing that you do is to look at the admission overview. You can check on that and also look at information for applicants. As an applicant is good, you read through this very well to make sure that you meet all their criteria before applying to a particular school. So basically, as we are talking about international applicants, it's always good we go through the international applicant guide. So this will actually give you more information as an international student applying to the school. Um, so we can see as they say, um, so this is a guide. So you just have to go through and look at, you can jump over to any, you know, to any part of the section that you really want to go to. But it's okay that you go through everything, especially you can see where they mentioned about GPA. This is the application overview. You go through it. It is mentioned that the general, for you to be eligible to apply to, a graduate school, you must have a 3.0 GPA on a scale of four or equivalent. So make sure you have this on your, you have this GPA before applying to the school. And if you are, if you are from a country where your, your GPA is on a scale of five or six or something, it's always good that you evaluate your transcript with an international transcript evaluation agency. One of them that is popular is World Education Services, what people call WES. So you can send your transcript to WES and they will evaluate your transcript, convert it to a four, on a scale of four GPA scale, okay? So also your resume is needed, statement of purpose, it's also good to read this to actually know exactly what they want to see in your statement of purpose. You will need letters of recommendation. So make sure you have that. Contact all your recommend recommenders in order to um, for them to write a recommendation. This is uh, a standardized testing. So most times this um, standardized testing is not mandatory you have to actually read and make sure that your program requires this so you don't waste your money writing exam that may not be considered or may not be required for the program you're applying to so after going through the guide you've already known what is required and you know you have all the documents and you meet the requ the requirement the best place, and I, <laughs> this is the best place I always go to whenever I'm applying to a school, financial support. So when you go to the financial support, as the name implies, everything financials, okay? You get all the financial details about the school. This is very, very important because I consider financial as a factor and most challenging factor um, preventing most international students from studying abroad, especially my own self when I was in this position, it was actually a major, major factor that prevented me from coming to study in the US, in the country of my dreams. But hey, there is always a way, and that is what I figured out for you guys. It's always good. You apply to schools that can give you financial support, and Rice University is one of those schools. So you can see they actually have application fee waiver. Not all universities have application fee waiver. And it's also good, read this. You can get more details here to see if you qualify for application fee waiver. You don't need to pay for application fee, but you have to make sure you qualify for that. So here is another interesting part, fellowships and assistantships. There are so many ways university can support you. There are different names university could have. Um, scholarship, assistantship, fellowship, grants. There are so many names. But you can see that Rice University have fellowship and assistantships for you. And what are they saying? That all the incoming students, graduate students, are eligible for variety of fellowship and other form of financial assistance. So this is really good. For them to write it on their website, that means they are taking, this is very important to them, that they support their 
graduate student, including international students. Okay, and you can see how it is mentioned that over 90% of newly enrolled graduate students are provided with financial incentive package. Over 90%. That means 99% of students who apply to their master's or uh, doctoral program obtain some sort of financial um, incentive. So it all depends on the one that you get or the one you apply to or the one that is offered by your department. And it is mentioned that graduate fellowship and a tuition waiver and many departments. Um, okay, so this the financial package includes graduate fellowship, tuition waiver, and many departments also offer what they call multi-year financial assistance. That means you can get assistance throughout the years of your study. You don't have to pay any fee. That's they are telling you you can actually study for free at Rice University. Now we really encourage so many international students to apply to this school. So this is information about their tuition. You can see how much is paid for their tuition. Almost thirty thousand, or twenty. I would say twenty six thousand to thirty thousand per term. So they also offer tuition waivers. So you can see you are not just getting um, their assistance. Also include tuition waivers. So you are not really struggling or thinking how you're going to um, cover your your how you're going to fund your program so rice university gives you tuition waiver so students that receive departmental stipend or secure and any external fellowship not even within the school external fellowship they also give them a full tuition support this is really good i love this school um so tuition at rice university is also compared to most private major research universities so they really they are competitive so applying to this school is your best bet because you are if you apply and put in a strong application you are sure of getting assistance and tuition waiver they also offer stipend as their incentive package okay so qualified doctoral student and research based master student obtain stipend of up to forty thousand dollars per year to cover their living expenses this is huge this is huge i can tell you there are so many schools i know some schools because um stipend ranges from twenty thousand to forty to fifty thousand per year, depending the school, depending the program. So Rice University offers up to forty thousand per year. This is actually what some professionals earn in a year. And as a student, you're actually earning this. Like you are studying and you are getting paid. This is exactly what that means. You are getting paid while you are doing your master's program or a PhD program at Rice University. And you can get your stipend in addition to a tuition waiver. Okay, so this is you. That we encourage so many students to apply to Rice University. Another school I would love to uh, show you guys is the University of Toledo. Um, so this is really a great university at Ohio. So is and they have a great they have great program. Again, as I mentioned, make sure that you um make sure that this school offer the program that you are looking for. Um, as I mentioned, we are also going to graduate studies in order to see um, what exactly they have. Make sure they offer your program so you are not applying to a school and then in the, in the middle of it, you are struggling. You, don't, you are not sure they offer your, your program. So make sure they do that before you do anything. Okay, so here you can go through the admission requirements. You type in whatever college that you are going. For example, you are applying to engineering. You can select, are you doing a master's or a, or a PhD? There are so many engineering programs, bioengineering, chemical, cyber security. This is really great. So they offer different kinds of um, 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 engineering within the University of Toledo. So for international applicants, always make sure you read this additional information. This is all that is needed from you 
So you can see you will need a minimum of English proficiency score and make sure that your if make sure that your um your country maybe could be exempted from this because there is a waiver for English requirements. So you can see that. So when you read through, you make sure that um to to figure out if where you're coming from is actually exempted from this from this English proficiency exam. Okay, so this is additional information for um, international students. The next thing we go over is um, tuition and funding. Okay, I love to go over this. Now you've seen the admission requirements. Number one, you've listed your program. You make sure they offer that. You go through your admission requirement to make sure you have everything it takes to be admitted into that school. The next thing is to say, what funding did they have for me as an international student? So you can see that we know, um, every school knows this. Funding plays a major role in choosing your graduate school. This is a very important factor, but I noticed that students don't really pay so much attention to this. You cannot just apply to a school because um, schools are expensive. You cannot apply to a school. Then at the end, after being admitted to that school, you'll be given the school tuition and you are like, oh, I can't pay this tuition. So make sure that you are applying to your ideal, a school that is ideal for you, that will give you financial support. So it's very, very important for us, okay? And it is said that over 800 Toledo graduate students receive graduate assistantships. They know how important this is to graduate students, including international students. Okay, so there are different ways they offer their assistantships, their graduate assistantships. So you can look into this to find more information. And we can see they have four different types of assistantships. It can come in form of teaching assistantship or research assistantship or administrative or internship. So there are so many options options here, guys. I would say take advantage of this. And they also have stipend. They give out stipend to their students. In addition to uh, assistantship, they give out tuition scholarships. And what is the requirement? Just a GPA of 3.0, you need this. Make sure you have a GPA of 3.0 to apply to this school in order to be given this assistantship. They also give you a stipend or you can get a tuition scholarship. So this is, these are the two schools I really want to show you guys today as we are selecting schools. Make sure you are selecting an ideal school university for you to study in the u.s and you end up coming here to study for free and as you are studying you are being paid for this so make sure you are choosing wisely uh, now you've seen different universities that you can apply to in order to study for free in the u.s make sure you apply to these universities because you will be able to obtain the financial benefit this university stands to offer to you as an international student and if you need any help in, in navigating the application process, do not hesitate to reach out. Send an email to me. Reach out through my uh, social media platform. I'll be able to support and guide you through the whole process. I have been helping so many of my mentees. From the time I relocated to, to, to the U.S. through a fully funded scholarship, I've gone this process over and over again. My PhD was fully funded also and I've helped so many students get through the um, application process and relocate to their country of choice. If you are still in the pro process of struggling on how to package your application, do not hesitate to reach out. Send us an email. We also, um, we also organize a study abroad um, training class where we teach you on how you can package a strong and compelling application that will help you secure the admission and also the scholarship or graduate funding.